Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily markets review for the trading day ending Thursday, March 17th. Firstly to the S&P 500 and here we see a continuation of the trend to the upside. That trend, uh, new first time frame uptrend was initiated yesterday with that candle making a higher high and a higher low and a very similar type of candle today. Uh, higher high, higher low, white body candle closing up towards the high and a uh, very good rally here uh, from a, a couple of weeks ago through the Ichimoku cloud and importantly through the round number 2000. The market is moving into a previous area of resistance up above the 2040 level which extends all the way up through the 2100 round number level. So anywhere within this highlighter yellow zone and above we may see some resistance coming in. But the buyers have built some very solid momentum at the moment and uh, it does suggest that if the market can close up above 2040 there's a good opportunity to trade through to the top of that zone around 2080. In terms of Ichimoku, we have a bullish market in all three time frames, supported by the chicken span, and the market is looking uh, quite healthy in terms of uh, trends in all of those three time frames. Looking at to our bands here, and uh, it certainly does highlight the strength in the market, trading up above that upper band and continuing to do so, and uh, the market previously finding support around that upper band, and we did so for the previous day's trading as well. Uh, it suggests that we have a very uh, strong uh, bullish uh, bias, bullish temperament to this market and uh, continuing to watch 2016 at the lower band at the moment to hold as support. Just looking at our Heiken Ashi candles here and uh, we have the very uh, bullish uh, candles over the last couple of trading days and certainly through this strong first time frame uptrend after the market broke out through the uh, Ichimoku cloud. Uh, the uh, candles have no shadow on the bottom and that suggests that there is a very strong bullish bias in this market based on the Heiken Ashi technique. Next to some of the market breadth studies and uh, here we've seen uh, the uh, turnaround in the advanced decline line trading up through its 50 day moving average. 50 day moving average is a good benchmark for it and uh, we have seen the market trading up through there and quite some bullish activity as we're moving up through uh, the bands based on uh, the uh, cumulative advanced decline line and continuing to move higher suggesting that the market is looking quite healthy in terms of breadth. One thing to watch here, however, is this um, um, overbought, oversold uh, indicator. And there is some divergence here. This is a cumulative line of the advances and declines over a 10 day period. And we're seeing some divergence here at the moment, just suggesting some caution. So uh, let's just watch for a potential retracement. But certainly, we're not seeing that in the charts at all. There's no sign of weakness whatsoever at the moment. Just looking at the high low index on the top sub chart here and it's continuing to suggest uh, that we have uh, quite some uh, strong bullishness here in the market. It hasn't started to turn down significantly and uh, even though we're at a very high level uh, there is an opportunity here for these uh, levels to be maintained. If we do start trending down strongly then it could suggest a deterioration in uh, new highs and new lows. And to the VIX indicator, and the VIX indicator is uh, trending, continuing to trend lower. Uh, it's suggesting that there certainly isn't any fear in the market at the moment, and the VIX oscillator is down below the 5% uh, level, and uh, suggesting uh, that there is no fear that the market uh, participants are feeling quite comfortable with this rally. Our uh, high yield uh, uh, bond spread, that's the yield between uh, corporate bonds, uh, risk, uh, quite risky corporate bonds versus government bonds, and that's been trending down significantly as well. When it tends to trend up, uh, we do see the market uh, sell off uh, from fear in the market, but we're seeing it uh, move low. It has ticked up a little over the, the uh, previous week, but certainly not suggesting any strength in it. And our sentiment indicators based on Ichimoku are very, very strong. Now the problem here is the uh, how long uh, can they remain strong and uh, 
uh, are we going to see a cyclical high soon? And that's uh, certainly a possibility. If we look at the percentage of stocks above the Tenkan-sen, it's at a very high level, around 81%. Percentage of stocks above the Kuchin-sen is also high, 93%. And the last time that we were up around those levels was in November, December last year. Um, also, the percentage of stocks above the Ichimoku cloud. So we're looking at stocks that are uh, long-term bullish. And we're at 86%, and that's a very, very high level as well. Percentage of stocks below the cloud is at a low of 6%. Next, looking to my op stops. Uh, indicator it's an indicator of uh, how the market is trending and it's uh, up above that top indicator suggesting that the market is very strong at the moment if we do close back between the two bands here the two uh, extremes of the bands then uh, we'll have a neutral market uh, but certainly looking very very strong with the buyers in control and to a modified DMI indicator trending up very strongly up above its moving average and above the zero level bullish and rising suggesting a very strong uh, environment for the buyers at the moment in the equities markets.